My name is uh, Detective Brad Hoover. Uh, my badge number is 6188. I'm with the Toronto Police Service Sex Crimes Unit. Uh, the, the time now is 2.05 p.m. I'm, we're presently at the Kingston Penitentiary in Kingston, Ontario, uh, in a boardroom and as thick as the main building, you'd call it. Uh, present in the room here, if uh, I could just have each of you identify yourself for the purposes of uh, the videotape that's being made. Uh, seated to my left, off the camera, and um, now sitting at the table is your counsel. Just please identify yourself. Yes, yeah, certainly. It's uh, Anthony Bryant. And uh, straight across the table from me, if you could identify yourself. I'm Constable Darlene Coolis, C O U L I S, badge number 6483 from Toronto Police Service. And seated to my right, if you could just identify yourself. Paul Jason Teal, aka Paul Bernardo. And um, again, my name is Brad Hoover, and today is June the 7th, 2007. Uh, Mr. Teal, um, the reason that we're here today is uh, to speak to you in regards to a couple of, a couple of matters. Uh, first of all, before we start, I just want you to um, make sure that you're aware that what we say is being videotaped here. Yeah. I'm just going to start this uh, audio tape. I forgot to do that. Uh, I just started this audio tape here. Uh, we started the interview at uh, 2.05 p.m. My name is uh, Detective Brad Hoover. Um, Paul, um, you're not presently um, being given a caution or anything, and I want you to understand that what you're saying to us today is voluntary. It means if you don't want to talk to us, you don't have to. Uh, your counsel is present, and uh, if you need to speak to him, you certainly can. Uh, but I just want to make sure that you understand that what you're saying here is voluntary. and. Um, that you're, we're interviewing you as a potential witness. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Um, just a little bit of background about um, the first time we met back uh, last year uh, in April of 2006. Um, that was in regards to a letter that you had sent uh, through the Attorney General's office and filtered down to my office uh, in regards to some admissions that you made uh, about some sexual assaults that you had committed. I'm here to tell you that I have concluded that investigation and that um, there have been two offenses that I have been able to identify and um, with the information that you provided to me at that time was able to uh, conclude those matters um, as having been committed by yourself. So for that, I thank you for that information. And uh, sorry, you've identified Identified the offense. No, no, no. I identified the offense that you were talking about, and uh, based on that information, I was able to conclude those cases that, uh, that actually provided enough information that I was satisfied that you were the person that committed those offenses. Okay. Now, what Does about? Make sense? Does it make sense? What about okay. ones that you thought that I came forward with, and maybe thought that I didn't do it? Was there any of those? Um, there was none that I thought that you didn't do. There was some that I didn't have enough information to either identify the offense because uh, you were unable to provide enough details at that time or um, they may not have ever been reported to the police. As you said in, when we spoke, some of them were, uh, we'll call them minor type offenses, but uh, no, I understand. Uh, offenses that may not have been reported to the police. Okay, um, problem. Uh, I turned on the TV, I waited for Peel Regional to come by. September rolls around. They, they make a public announcement, it's written on my file here, that uh, that I lied to police and I did not commit the crimes that I said I committed on, on the offenses in Peel Region. Okay. Big problem. I have spoken to Peel Region yeah. and um, they have told me that uh, they don't have enough information at this point to identify anything that you, um, the, the letter that was sent to the police, or to, through to the police, wasn't specific enough to identify any offenses. Now that's something that we can talk about um, sort of following this interview and if you want to get into that we can talk about that. Well, I've been sitting with this for years and it's, it's written on my file and it makes me seem like oh he's just this crazy, you, know, you guys love doing that, I'm this crazy psychopathic liar. Why was that statement issued? Why didn't they come in and talk to me if they didn't have enough information? 
we were waiting on that tape. You can play that tape back. I, you know, I asked you guys, is Pure Regional going to come in? I sat there month after month after month. No one came. I turned on the TV in September. Pure, you know, declared that Paul Bernardo was, you know, this crazy liar to, to, to police. What, what, what's the fundamental problem here? Well, I, I, no, I mean, I justice the Canadian way, and, uh, and, and, and no one comes in, and now you guys are saying that you didn't have enough information? Well, I, I can't answer for them specifically as to what they did or didn't do. Um, I can tell you that because they're a separate police department, I don't have any control over what investigation that they did do. I can tell you that I have spoken with the, uh, an investigator in Peel region, and they have told me that at this point they don't have enough information to uh, move forward. They haven't been able to um, identify any offense that was specifically talked about. That statement you're giving me is much different than the public statement okay. they said, which said I was a liar. Okay, well, I don't, I don't. It's night and day, and they didn't come in. If they didn't have enough information, why don't you come in and get the information? Absolutely. I mean, either I'm lying or I'm not lying. And, and this goes to the crux of this argument. Either I'm a liar to you, I'm going to lie to you right now about everything, like I did to Peel Regional, according to their story, or I'm not. And, you know, I, I just, I just, I, I'm not going to sit here and you know, come voluntarily and have people come. You guys ban me from the press, you, you roll your stories over, and you constantly say that I'm a liar, I'm a liar. I made a mistake 17 years ago. Said, so, okay, fine, I did. But but now we're talking about today, and you're not going to roll forward that I'm some psychopathic liar sitting in jail claiming other people's responsibilities for other crimes. This is a total cross-examination point. You want to start this thing? Bring, Lockyer is going to grab a hold of it and say, well, he lied about other crimes. You know, he's a, he's a crazy liar. Why didn't you guys resolve this? And again, I can't answer for what Peel Region did or didn't do. Jurisdictionally, we're kind of bound as well, to yeah, what takes but, place. But still, the, the good guys, guys the bad guys. You know what I mean? You're on the same team. Yes, you know, we supposedly. are, but as far as us inve investigating matters that take place outside of the actual Toronto proper, um, that's why Peel Regional has their police service. And like Detective Hoover said, we can't answer as to what they did with their investigations or the, ma the issues that they were looking at that transpired out in their area. And, and we really can't speak to that. Mm -hmm. Now, whether that's something you wish to have your counsel deal with yeah, them on, and that's something else. But unfortunately, there, we, there wasn't a lot that uh, Detective Hoover and I could do in regards to those things. Well, that's yeah, that's yeah. whoever's watching this right thing, they, they should subpoena these guys to Peel Regional. They can bring in all the facts to show just where I lied then, if I'm a liar. That's what I say to do, because I, either I'm a liar or I'm not a liar, and I'm not a liar. But you guys are trying to paint me as one. The public, according to the public, they, they turned on the TV in September of last year, and I was this crazy liar. Uh, that's what the TV reported, and not only did they report it there, they wrote it on my file. I've got it right myself. Paul Bernardo, uh, Peel Regional said Paul Bernardo lied to police about uh, crimes that he didn't commit, said he did. Okay. And I mean, this is, this, that's just awful. I mean, come on. Okay. Enough manipulation, you know what I mean? Either you tell the truth or don't, otherwise the whole purpose of any interview is just stupid. Because if I'm this crazy liar, I'll be just sitting here lying to you about everything, right? Right? I mean, why wouldn't I? I'm just this crazy liar. Okay. And, and, and again, I don't, I don't know exactly what was said by Phil Region, and I, I'm not here to answer to what they said. And it's either you know, one it's, it's, it's one thing, it's, it, you know, I'm a human being, and, and, and to say that I'm a dangerous offender, to be raping and killing and all this stuff, it's fine. I mean, for publicity, you know, get that, you know, tough on crime, get that bad guy. But but when you go to a certain point of line, it just, I mean, it affects me totally. You know, I made mistakes, I made mistakes a long time ago. But don't say that today about me, because then we're lying, and then we got a big problem, because I'm looking at you, and you're the bad guys, because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not telling the truth, and you guys are walking around issuing statements that I lied here, I lied there. No? Well, as again, th those are statements that were issued by Detective Hoover or myself or... or yeah, I know, but I mean, this is, it's, like the it's Attorney General who sent you guys down here. He's fighting the case. He's taking this ball to pitch back, right? So it's, it's really all the... It's the same organization. There's an Attorney General I see but, on TV talking about it. But this is a separate matter from what those issues were. But it's still the Attorney year. General's office. Yeah, yeah it very <laughs> well be, but um, like I said, we, we can't speak to anything that Peel Regional does or statements that they release out to the media um, because... They have you know, it's, they were a, it's, it's the same thing. If I'm a liar, take the facts that the, that they have. They come down and talk to me. Any cross examine, uh, you know, any defense lawyer, can call them up and show me where I'm lying because you're not going to find it. Maybe there's a minor mistake here and there. I think I had one thing about some uh, tree driveway being where trees were. You know, memory a little bit over time. But to say that is just ridiculous. Just like you guys didn't go. Uh, you guys polygraph Carlo? You didn't ask her about it? Nobody from the attorney general went down there. Nobody cared. <clears throat> Again, it's the same. I know, but it's the same problem because you're making me out to be a huge liar, 
and, and this, this is a problem. Well, I don't, I don't have any doubt as to what you told us before. The, the facts that I can verify, I believe, were true. And, it, and from what you told me, you haven't told me any lies yet, so I have no personal reason to, to believe that you're lying. Exactly. So, uh, again, exactly. So, but this is, was a different story than I've got on my file. And, and it, again, I don't know what's in your file because I, I'm not privy to that information or what's there or what's not there. I'm just telling you from my perspective and from an investigative perspective into what I've looked into, to what admissions you made back in April last year to me, I'm, you know, I'm satisfied. I've done what I can do as far as the investigation. If Peel, if you'd like to provide me with more information about the specific occurrences that occurred in Peel region, then we can talk about that after the focus of what we're here for today. And that's, but that's but it is part of the focus. Well, it Peel, is. It is. It is and it isn't. I mean, well, I think obviously, is. directly, we're here today to deal with the uh, the bulk of it.